definitely. If I've had a really stressful day and I come home, I just can't be bothered to cook, so I'll just pick up something cheap and easy. If you're on a good day or a bad day, oh yes, without doubt, of course. If you're miserable and depressed and you're sat at home in the rain, you might want to be having a bit of a comfort yeah. food, might you? I guess if I've had a bad day, like I'll feel like less inclined to eat healthy, even though I know that that'll make me feel better. It just seems like, oh, I'll just get pressed or something because it's a bad day anyway, so I may as well eat some bad food. Yes, it, it does, because if you eat something healthy, like both fruit, you feel ready to go for the day. Well, I think if you're feeling depressed or fed up about something, it's very easy to go to the cupboard and get that chocolate biscuit out of the tin. Most definitely, yeah. yeah. Comfort eating, ambrosia cream rice and dark chocolate. Somewhat. It should affect it more than it does, but it, it, it affects some of the things I eat, and some things I eat just because I like them. Yeah, so it's how you feel about what you eat, I guess. Like, I don't feel happy when I'm eating the salad, I feel happy when I'm eating like a chicken dinner or something, you know? What I mean? For some people it does. For some people food is fuel, but for other people it's linked to emotions. You know, you're happy you eat, you're sad you eat, you're stressed you eat. So I definitely think there's a strong relation between eating and emotions. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. The older, the older you get, as well, the more you notice it. So, um, I'm having my, my own personal battles with food and sugar and everything. So, yeah, it does. It massively, uh, massively has an effect. I'd say detrimentally and, and for the better as well if you're eating better. So.